Okay, now if you want to add a little more to your fajitas or burritos or just about anything, you don't want to miss out on what the Uper Goddess is cooking for us this morning. Ansley Watson is in the kitchen this morning to see how things are going. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. We are in the kitchen. We're drinking our Finlander coffee. We are. I'm with Lori Cooley, and yeah. she's going to show us how to make some bean dip this morning. Is that yeah. right? Refried beans and then bean dip. It's going to be delicious. And it's not like the, the refried beans you get out of cans. She makes these homemade, yeah. like from hard beans, right? Yeah, I, I boiled my own beans and... You know, that's what makes it good, right? Yeah, I'm so excited. And this girl's not picky. <laughs> I'm not picky. I love all food, so it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> and she also made tortilla chips out of, like, real tortillas. Like, this is homemade stuff. This is good. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're going to tell you how to do it. We're going to tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Stick around for the next hour. Reporting live in Ishpeming, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Sounds Don't worry, Vicky. We'll good bring morning, some Larry. back. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a good time waiting to hear it. Now, you know, a lot of new feet people. Ansley is going to learn this, but uh, Cassie, you're also new. So right. Lori's catchphrase is, if you think you can't do it, doubt it. it. Right. Yes. Okay. So you'll hear that a Welcome lot. Welcome back. But one of the foods that you can't forget on the nacho bar, of course, is refried beans. We're joined by Ansley Watson and the Uper Goddess to see how they make them and some chips. And Ansley, don't eat them all, please. <laughs> Sam, I might eat them all, okay? <laughs> and no judgments, please, because this stuff is amazing. It's Yay. so good. I'm here with Lori, the Uper Goddess. And yeah, we put together a bean dip. So let's just talk from the very beginning. How did we do this? Well, we, we made our refried beans, which you did, didn't get to see. But, you know, you put them in the bottom of your, your bowl here. And uh, we're going to cover these with sour cream. How can that be bad? <laughs> hey. And I know that you added some, like, chicken broth in it, frozen chicken broth. You yep. had a really unique way of freezing that. Talk, talk yep. about, when to I, us about that. When I made the refried beans, I put two, three cubes, like ice cube, of chicken broth. So when you make your chicken broth, I used to freeze it in, like, this big hunk. Yeah. And, you know, when I went go, would go to use it, it was so awkward. So I freeze it in ice cube trays. That's and then so you, smart. Yeah, and you just take it out whenever you need it. So we're going to put some taco sauce on this. And the thing I do with my taco sauce is I take a bottle of taco sauce and a bottle of chili sauce, and I mix it together, and it's amazing. It's so good. So we're going to... Well, what's the point of that? What does that do? It just gives it a zing and a different flavor, which if you don't like straight taco sauce, you would love it, because I don't like straight taco sauce. But we're going to put some of my pickled jalapenos that I pickled out of my garden. Isn't that cute? It's out of her garden. Oh, awesome. <laughs> hey. And we cooked this chicken, and we just flavored it with taco seasoning. Okay. And we're going to dump that right on top. Look at how good. And oh how gosh. long did you, did you just put that on the stove for? The chicken? The chicken. I just sauteed it because it's going to cook another 35 minutes. Okay. So even if it's not completely cooked all the way through, it will be. All right. And then we're just going to top this with cheese, and we're going to pop this in the oven for 35 minutes, and look at what it looks like. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. And we took a few nibbles already, and we, did. we had to. It's, it's so good. So good. And then talk about these tortilla chips. These are not ordinary tortilla no, chips from our I, bag. I bought tortillas, and what you do is you, you cut them. You, you first, you brush them with olive oil, and you cut them with a pizza cutter, you know, whatever size you want, and you bake them for 12 minutes yeah. on 390. They're so good. Yum. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You will not be disappointed. No. All the flavors mesh in really well. Mm -hmm. The beans, good. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All the flavors, wonderful. I do have one thing to say. If you think that I'm not excited meeting this new <laughs> news goddess, we'll doubt it because totally excited. So excited. This has been a blast. And so if people want this recipe, where can they go to find it? Well, you know, we, if you missed out on, which you did, making the refried beans, I have a video on my website, Uper Goddess. Click on the recipe and the video's right there. So you can learn how to do that. And this bean dip will be on there later today. Awesome, fantastic. Yeah. Lori, it's been a blast. I've had so much fun learning how to make this dip. It's Yay. been great. Go to her website, check out the recipe. <laughs> Reporting live in Ishpeming, Angelie Watson. We'll be back with more of your TV6 yeah. morning news after the break.